women with gum disease more prone for breast cancer. Periodontal disease ranges from simple gum inflammation to a major damage of the soft tissue and bone that support the teeth, with loss of teeth. Periodontal disease has been associated with heart disease, stroke, and diabetes. Previous studies have found links between periodontal disease and oral, esophageal, head and neck, pancreatic, and lung cancers. The risk factors for periodontal disease in women include genetic predisposition, smoking and hormonal changes. This makes the gums more sensitive, and gingivitis develop very fast. People with diabetes or cancer are also prone for gum infection due to reduced immunity to fight against infection. Dry mouth can also leave the oral cavity more vulnerable to infections. Regular brushing, flossing and cleaning by the dentist can help to prevent it. Recently researchers from the University at Buffalo's School of Public Health investigated, if there was any relationship with breast cancer and oral infection. Joel Fudenheim, distinguished professor in the Department of Epidemiology and Environmental Health was the leader of the study. Published in the December 2015 issue of Cancer Epidemiology, Biomarkers and Prevention, a journal of the American Association for Cancer Research. The team monitored 73,737 postmenopausal women who were enrolled in the Women's Health Initiative Observational Study. None of the women had previous breast cancer, but 26.1% of them had periodontal disease. Within a follow-up period of 6.7 years, 2,124 women developed breast cancer. The researchers found that among all women, the risk of breast cancer was 14% higher in those who had periodontal disease. Possible explanation for the link between periodontal disease and breast cancer is that bacteria from the mouth can enter the circulatory system, ultimately affect the breast tissues. The systemic inflammation with periodontal disease affects the breast tissues. Changes in sex hormone levels related to the menopause affect the response of breast tissues to a stimulus such as exposure to bacteria. Among women who smoke, a higher incidence of breast cancer is found, even if they quit smoking years back. The bacteria in the mouths of smokers are different from those in the mouths of non-smokers. The previous exposure to smoking affect the carcinogenic process, and that the effects of smoking are slow to get reversed. Smoking is strongly tied to gum disease, and less strongly linked to breast cancer. There is still much to understand about the role of oral bacteria and breast cancer. It's too early to say that treating or preventing gum disease lowers breast cancer risk. We are just starting to understand how important the gut microbiome is to general health. Thanks for watching. Please click the link in description for more information.